What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're discussing about whether you should downgrade from iOS 13 beta or iOS 13.1 beta back to iOS 12.4.1 for a jailbreak in the near future. And we're going to also talk about what you should do if you're still running the iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1 because as you probably know these are not jailbroken for the moment. As you probably remember, just two days ago, Zekops posted quote, free the sandbox update. If you missed the iOS 12.4 signing window and wish to investigate or analyze your device, keep it on 12.4.1. We plan to release LPE, which stands for Local Privilege Escalation, granting TFP0 to enable iOS DFIR investigations. The bug can also be used as a jailbreak for those who are interested. So they're basically going to release in the next month an iOS 12.4.1 kernel exploit, which TFP0. Now the iOS 12.4.1 is currently, at the time I'm making this video, the latest version available, but it's not going to stay so for so long, because iOS 13 will be released in the next days, and iOS 13.1 will follow probably in a week or two. So at that point the iOS 12.4.1 might also be unsigned. So what should you do? Should you downgrade to iOS 12.4.1 or stay on iOS 13 and hope for the best? And what should you do if you're running 12.3 or 12.3.1 for which there is no jailbreak? Well, as you probably know, the iOS 12.4 patches only one single bug, the one found by Ned Williamson which allowed us to jailbreak 12.2, 12.1.4 and lower, however it also works on 12.4, because Apple patched it originally on 12.3 and 12.3.1, but they did a mistake and reintroduced it on 12.4, however the bug is not available on iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1, so people who are still running these firmware in here are basically stuck in terms of jailbreaking. So if you're running iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1, I would definitely advise you to go to 12.4.1 and wait in there. And if you're running the iOS 13 or 13.1 beta, again, I would definitely advise you to go to 12.4.1 because there will be a TFP0 exploit released for 12.4.1 by Zekops, which will of course allow the uncovered jailbreak to be updated in less than a day for the pre-812 devices like the iPhone 7, 7 plus, 8, 8 plus, 10 and so on. So yeah, definitely downgrade to iOS 12.4.1 while you still can. As I said, the iOS 12.4.1 will not stay signed for so long, especially after the iOS 13.1 gets released, which is currently in beta. Now for the A12 devices, it may take more than TFP0 to jailbreak 12.4.1, However, I also recommend you to stay on 12.4.1 if you have an A12 device, because iOS 13 will likely not be jailbroken for quite a long time after it gets released, especially on A12 devices, so you have more chances on 12.4.1, especially with the uncovered team figuring out the A12 support as we speak. So yeah, definitely stay on 12.4.1 if you're running 12.3 or 12.3.1, go to 12.4.1 while it's still possible, and if you're running the iOS 13, downgrade right now. Thank you for watching, I am GSNow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated, peace out.